In this video, we're going to look at how to save and copy high resolution images onto your phone. Before we dive into the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. So here in Photoshop, I'm going to use this particular file that is the most recent tutorial on the channel if you want to check it out. Now, first things first, before you can even think of a highly resoluted image, the first thing that you need to do is to set your resolution at the very initial ages of creating your document. So at the resolution level here, you have to make sure that it is a bit above in such that it is going to be highly resoluted. For instance, if you set this to around 72 or lesser than that, you're going to get a very pixelated image. So I think 300 or upwards will be good for a start of every single project. Now, once you're done with setting your project and you're done with the design like this one, the other thing that you have to look at also is the file format. When you go to save and then let me use save us here because I've already saved my image. Now, if you come to the save us section over here, you realize that at the file format, we have a couple of them. Now, what you need to understand is if you save your files as a format like PSD, that is the Photoshop.psd, something like TIF, that is the TIFF, and other couple of formats here, it can be copied on your phone, understandable, but you cannot view it as an image or send it to a particular person to review it for you. So in this case, we are going to use something like the PNG and then the JPEG, which are the most standard file formats for viewing images on phone. So you always have to make sure that you save your works like PNG or JPEG. In this case, we are using JPEG. Okay. And then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to give your file a name. So let's keep this one sample here and hit on save now i'm saving my document at my desktop so you go ahead and then you click on save here now the jpeg options here also makes a lot of sense because most of the times you realize from here that the quality of my file size is at the medium you can either click here to check the low medium high maximum make sure that always your file is set to the maximum that is it is going to give the maximum quality it can give most of you all mostly the file is over here it's at very low you realize that even the size is very low in kilobytes so the quality is going to be very low as well so what you do is you drag it to the very maximum or you just click here and set it to the very maximum so you realize that it has moved from 8 kilobytes to 308 kilobytes which is a very high quality this is one thing that gets most of your works pixelated so once you're done with that you go ahead and then you click ok and then it is going to save on your desktop now back to your desktop you realize that you have your image saved here whether you saved it jpeg or a png it will be at the location that you saved it the next thing is to send it to your phone and there are a couple of ways i know you know most of them now you can use bluetooth or you can either copy it to your google drive but in this case if you're going to use the usb cable i'm using android i think this should work for iphone if you're using iphone try this and let me know if it works out pretty fine but then i'm using android so i think it's supposed to work now first things first you get your android phone and you're just going to plug in the usb cable so you plug in like that now if it is the first time that you are plugging in your usb cable or perhaps a different usb cable you might have to scroll your notification bar over here and then you're going to tap on the usb for file transfer so you tap on that one and then mostly it will be at the charging only what happens is if it is at a charging only you'd have your phone showing okay but you wouldn't see anything over here so the next thing you do is you set it to transferring files that is the android auto and then it will reconnect again and now when you click on your phone you should see your phone here i'm not having a micro sd inside so i'm just using the phone memory so right from here you can go back to your desktop and then you're going to just copy your image so copy it from here 
come to your phone that is the phone that is showing open it up and then it is going to open up like a bunch of folders for you but what i normally do is i just place the copied file straight onto my phone so it doesn't have to go into any different folder for me it automatically creates a folder for you though so you just copy it onto your phone like that so you copy and paste it over here and then you'll be pasted right over there now you can go to your phone gallery and then you see your images over there so a quick recap you just have to set your resolution to a higher resolution at the initial stages of the project and then you need to save it something like a jpeg or png something that can be viewed on the phone and connect your usb copy and paste it onto your phone and then you're good to go thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video let me know in the comment section if this was helpful and i'll see you guys in the next one it's innocent here and bye